Well, the death toll rises in two terror attacks in Afghanistan. The near simultaneous Taliban bombings hitting the country's capital. One targets a police station, the other, the intelligence service offices. Connor Powell is following that story live from our Mideast Bureau in Jerusalem. Connor. John, these uh, twin attacks in Kabul come just a few days after a senior Taliban commander was killed in a U.S. airstrike over the weekend. And some people are saying that this is connected to th that, uh, uh, that attack and the killing. These attacks, though, are very similar to what we've seen the Taliban carry out in Kabul really for the last decade or so. A pair of attacks targeting government, military, police uh, buildings and headquarters using a bomb in the first case in the western part of Kabul, a large car bomb exploding near the gate, and then attackers with guns rushing in. A several hour gun battle then uh, followed. Ultimately, the Afghan police and the military were able to kill all the attackers, but not before 16 people were killed in total. Uh, between the two attacks and dozens more were wounded. Now, President Trump last night uh, talked about a lot of things uh, in terms of national security, but he did not talk about Afghanistan uh, last night during that State of the Union address. But the Pentagon is working on a plan whether or not to send additional troops to Afghanistan, whether or not to ramp that war up. But, John, the larger issue that the U.S. has had in Afghanistan for the last uh, several years or so is it doesn't really matter all that much the troop numbers when the Taliban have been able to use neighboring Pakistan as a base of operations to go in and out of Afghanistan, attacking both Afghan civilians and police and military and U.S. forces. The larger issue has not been the number of troops in Afghanistan, but how to deal with that safe haven across the border. No word yet, John about what the U.S. might do in terms of that issue and how it deals with the overall problem of Afghanistan. And America's longest war grows even longer. Connor Powell, thanks.